back this is Ngini Umanyang and I'm happy to have you on board. Today we're going to learn how to create a login form or a sign up form using Bootstrap. And as I promised in the earlier tutorial that I'll show you how to use Bootstrap to create to create a login form or a sign up form which a user can use to access uh, the contents of your website. I'm going to use Bootstrap and uh, when you want to get to Bootstrap you go to getbootstrap.com where you can either download the bootstrap files or you can use the bootstrap cdn the bootstrap cdns are just a codes that you will uh, copy from bootstrap cdn then uh, paste uh, in your website where they you can use them to style your website if you can see here i have a link though i have commented it out i have a link to bootstrap cdn which i copied there i copied then pasted in my code we and uh, it can assist me to style my website i can also download bootstrap from here i'll go to the download button and when i go to the download button it will download and when i go to my downloads when i go to my downloads i'll get the bootstrap dot uh, bootstrap 4.5.0 the current version of bootstrap is uh, bootstrap 4 so we have much upgrades after that we have 4.1 4.50 now you can download the version you want when you come here you see that the current version is version 4.5 and you can select the version you want to download so i've downloaded version 4.5 and uh, you can see it in my download it's a zip file you can go you can go here then uh, you extract the you open with archive manager and you extract the file to a folder that you want so i already i already extracted my fold uh, my bootstrap folder and i have it here i have it here so this is the first tutorial that i created and this is now our tutorial which we are going to use bootstrap to style our website uh to, to, sorry, to style our form that you are seeing here so when you come here you will see that this first uh, this long link that I, I commented is a link to bootstrap cdn and you you can only use one at a time either you can download the bootstrap and you can see it here the upper one is a bootstrap uh, version 4.0 that i used earlier and uh, i'm not using it anymore so i'll delete it then uh, i'll be using bootstrap 4.50 so whatever you will do you will have your link to a href bootstrap 4.50 uh, slash for slash css because you can see two files here css and javascript so when we open you can see the files that i used to create this register form and uh, when you go when you come here i have my form my, my styles here so when i go to bootstrap for you there are only two folders which is the css and uh, js which we have the javascript files the css which we have the uh, css files so after getting to bootstrap after getting to bootstrap uh, folder you will use the css folder when uh, you want to use the css then you use the bootstrap.min.css uh, file i say that you can use one either you can decide to download it or you can use the link to, when you want to use the link you come here then you copy this link here if you want css only you will copy this if you want javascript or popper or jquery you will copy this code then paste it on your code so uh, with me i'll just delete this and i'll use the downloaded version of bootstrap so these are the my files to my phone uh, my form i have sign up.html i have login.html and form style html just to add some few uh, some few styles to my form so that it can appear decent so i'll clear everything here and i'll start uh, creating a new form i'll clear everything here and start creating a new form so that we can learn together so everything under the body everything under the body i will delete I will delete and start afresh so let me delete everything and save i'll delete everything in the login page is the same codes so i said that uh, you can either use the link to the folder the bootstrap folder or you can use a link to the bootstrap cdn 
so I'll delete everything here I'll delete everything here and my form as uh, the, uh, my form style CSS there are little files here that I used for making the website at least look prettier I'll delete everything from here so that we start afresh so I'll start with the sign up page and when you go back to our browser when you go back to our browser we have a login form so let's refresh uh, make sure that there is nothing let's refresh so that we start afresh so we are going to use bootstrap classes to make this form we are going to use bootstrap classes to make this form so I'll have uh, I'll go to sign up dot html where I'll have html html layout and the title will be sign up then I'll have a link to href and the href will be our folder bootstrap 4.0 bootstrap 4.0 then uh, we will that we will direct it so directly we will direct it to a CSS folder then we will direct it to a bootstrap dot uh, mean dot js so we can open to see uh, we are uh, we are directing it to this bootstrap dot mean dot css and we save we'll go to the body section and in this body we will have a div and this div and this div will have a class container and uh, here we will have a div with a row then under this we will have a div we will have a column under this row uh, a div with a class column and this column it will be a column of uh, a column of md4 and we will give it an offset of 4 we will give it an offset of md4 for medium devices and i will give it another class later then i will have a form and this form will have an action of sign up dot php and this is the form that will receive our data and do all the logics for the login then inside our form I will have the our form will have a method of post I hope you know what the method post does then we will have a div uh, a h4 of, of uh, uh, let's give a h4 and uh, we call it register and we will give it a class of text center and inside the form there inside the form this form we will give it a div of form group then inside this div of form group i'll give it a label a label which i will call i will call the label it's for username
and I'll call it username and I will in get an input field an input type of a text and a name of username then I'll have it a class I'll have it a class uh, which I'll call form control form control and form control large and form control large then I'll have that I'll copy the same code from this div because I need one uh, three more input fields and labels so this I'll call another field that we need is an email field the way we saw and it have it will have a type of email then the name will be email the class will remain form control form control large then it will be for email the next will be password and it will be for password the type will be password and the name will be password I'll call it that password and here I'll call it confirm password because we need the user to confirm his or her password and gi I'll give it a type of password then I'll call the name password confirm and I will have another div and this div will host our button this div will host our button our button will th this div will also have a phone group a class of phone group will have a class of phone group and here we will have our button with the type submit it will be a submit button and uh, the name will be submit and uh, the class of this button another class of the button will have a class let me delete that I'll have a class of button yes button primary to give it the, uh, the primary color then we have button block then button large let me remove that for the time being and we can save we can save and refresh our sign up page our our bootstrap uh, style is not connected so we can connect it so bootstrap uh, there's a problem in the uh, let's see let's see let's see what we can do we can go to the folder then we check on our document so we'll come here the CSS 
so we need the bootstrap dot main dot css no we need uh, the bootstrap dot main dot css this one i'll copy it and come here and paste it in this link and i will delete this unnecessary directory and i save and when i save and refresh now you can see it is connected we didn't give a button a name so let's give it a name a button we will call it sign up we will call it sign up and when we refresh you can see it, lo it looks better so we are going to have a board around it we are going to have a board around it and that border now we can add our own styling and that's th that's the smaller form you saw beside that now i'll go back here and i'll go to form style dot css so whatever i'll do i'll also link it to my form here and i'll call it form form i'll call it form style because it's in the root directory dot css and i'll save so when i come here and i give the body just to check if it's connected a background color a body a background color of light blue you can either use the hex value or the rgb value 